What are you doing out here? That's where I ended up. <clears throat> I dozed off after we made love, and when I woke up alone, I was... I was afraid you changed your mind about forgiving me. Well, it doesn't surprise me that you have doubts about me. I've been all over the place lately, yes? Yeah. One minute I'm loving and attentive, the next I'm suspicious and accusatory. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't treat my family any better. Hey, have you heard me complaining? I mean, look how unfair I've been to Elizabeth and Lucky, and all they've ever done is support me, even when they don't agree with the choices I make. Hey, Nicholas, I'm not really sure where you're going with this, but I don't think Elizabeth or Lucky blame you for anything that you might have said or, or done in the heat of battle. And they love you very much. Maybe they shouldn't. Maybe I don't deserve it. Hey, Nicholas. What's wrong? Tell me the truth. Do I scare you? Because sometimes I scare myself. Nicholas, I mean, you have been a little erratic with me. But that's a perfectly appropriate response considering everything that's happened. I deceived you. I, I have to own that and the consequences that come as a result. So to answer your question, no. I'm not afraid of you. I just think that you don't trust me completely and that you're dealing with residual anger. Yeah, I'm hoping that in time you'll change and you'll come to feel about us the way I do. Which is what? That we're right for each other. That we're good together. That we have a future. Which, <laughs> unfortunately, doesn't include tonight. I have to leave. Um, Edward's still you know, having nightmares and still fragile from the heart attack. So I'm gonna sit with him. Seems to help. Okay. That's, that's very thoughtful of you. See you tomorrow? Yeah, see you tomorrow.